This is blogging under the influence. Blogging under the influence. Blogging under the influence. Blogging under the influence. Uh, you come over here and suck my prostate when I, uh, while I take a piss. Oh, by the way, it's uncircumcised. Not that I fucking stare at everybody's dick. God damn it, I was hoping that wasn't true. <laughs> Don't be afraid to take your mic and go home. All right, good day, everybody. This is BUI, Blogging Under the Influence. My name is Mick, and you are? Tyson Knuckles. Man lighting a cigarette. Cigarette. (laughs) Can I finish now? Yeah, sure. I'm done with an H. John with an H. And the guy down there giving himself a pansy ass pedicure. Legend Bill, thank you. All right. That's the crew. We're all four in a house, and this is actually the first official BUI. Last week was kind of a test run. Right. And We're Bill's pretty good. De- and Bill's defense, he's doing his pedicure with a Leatherman. Yes, <laughs> yeah. I guess yeah. It's not real panty. It, it, it is a pretty manly tool for a pedicure. Last week we tried the concept. Manicure. We tried the concept of Mr. Mick and John with an H having a conversation and <laughs> overdubbing my vocals. Or Tyson's fear of the mic looking like a penis and afraid to get close to it. Yeah. Hey, just because you two are the only ones comfortable having it in your mouth. Don't be afraid to take your mic and go home. <laughs> Nice. Tyson's like, fuck this shit. I'm going to go buy a mic. That way these fuckers won't talk over me all the time. And I will have green M&M's. The and next if I, I recording, there will be a bowl of green M&M's for me to eat during the show. And there will only be green M&M's. <laughs> all right, man. Be it better be held at your house because I'm not buying any fucking green M&M's. I'm not sorting them. Where's the old lady? <laughs> Becky! We take your ass to the... Becky! <laughs> Becky, I need a bowl of green M&M's he cannot, now! He cannot honestly have, leave the room without having contact with her, can he? <laughs> You're probably not. They're probably texting each other right now. Right. I thought we outlawed cell phones. Oh, honey, what are you doing? Hmm? I don't know. What are you doing? Uh, Love you. Uh, You're uh, cute. You're pretty. I just got Love s- you, too. I just got six, face- I just got six Facebook hits on my phone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The funny part about it is when I say you're pretty and pat her on the head, it's I really mean you're a dumbass. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, Bill, if we didn't go over the ground rules with you. Shut the fucking cell phone off. Yeah. We're done with them. Nobody yeah. told me that. Yeah. They, what if we're going to cover it live on the no, air. It's, I've got on pretend silence. Like, pretend like the cell phone has a I'm an important guy, away. man. You, you, can buy, you, can, movie you can buy the rights to have that on if you're the actual lottery ticket, if you bought a lottery ticket in Clarksville, Indiana. You know what? I freaked out that day. That's a big story. But anyway, I thought I What's won, What's that? Dude. What's that? The what are you talking about? Two hundred twelve, two hundred twenty-one million dollar lottery ticket that's bought in Clarksville. Oh, Indiana. Wednesday. Yeah, the Wednesday. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> My brother used to live there, and he moved. I told him not to move. See what happened? <laughs> it, it's because yeah, okay. he probably would have would have won. It's kind of uh, like yeah. it's kind of like when tornadoes hit; they only hit the fucking hillbilly regions, <laughs> and Clarksville is down in Hickstown. It's yeah, more well, Clarksville's we're a lot better here. Clarksville's like uh, like Matthews; the river keeps them safe. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Oh wait, now that's what I heard when I moved to Matthews. Oh, we're, we're at tornadoes here because the river yeah. keep you safe. Yeah, from we're, in, we're really yeah. we're on a plateau in yeah. a valley. The, the, I want to see Bob Gregory's opinion on that. Uh, or his kid, whatever his name is. They Kevin don't. Gregory. They don't count the three water spots that came down the river. <laughs> oh, they're water spots. We don't yeah. have tornadoes. Not we tornadoes. have water spots because that's just the giant fucking river. It's almost the size of the Mississippi. But the bridge. The covered bridge blew apart the water spout and saved the town. <laughs> okay. That sounds like a comic book. Huh? Right. All right. It's our world. We live in it. So uh, this will probably go live, so we should probably explain what we're doing here. This is uh, BUI blogging under the influence. This is uh, three to four guys on a weekly basis getting together, <clears throat> drinking beer, talking shit, talking about the latest headlines. Maybe uh, getting out of shovel and talking news. about something deep. We'll probably uh, have John and Tyson cover some sports. I probably won't be too involved in that because right. my favorite sport's hip hop, and you guys know, know nothing that about that's that a sport yet. Right. <laughs> I'm not sure NASCAR's a sport, but then again, <laughs> it's true. 
And belligerent Bill will probably be here to provide some uh, comedic anecdotes. Actually, I'm the gardener. I'd love to have a gardening spot. That's my thing. I mean, you know that. You, okay. You want a gardening podcast? Uh, no, I mean, just... That's you know, fucking exciting, know. man. Marco, let's do it. Marco, let's do it. Plenty us of people you. love to garden. I mean, why leave those people out? Okay. I can throw Should we talk tip, about tip your gardening day, adventures last gardening. year? Yes. Do you wear your... I'll have a tip of the day. Do you wear your respirator and Kim suit while you're gardening? It depends on the herbicides and oh, okay. pesticides and whatever else you want to smoke. Tyson's yeah. the one who needs the herbicide. You just drove away the whole... you can cut them in the fall. Those are love bumps. Those are love bumps. Those are love bumps. Lots of money there. No, today's bell- belligerent bill tip for the week. Take the honey away from the comb. Spread over oh, yeah. wiener. <laughs> Mr. Professional Layer. Gardener. How long were you a professional gardener? Working with now. motherfuckers that didn't speak English, pardon my language. No, but when we started talking about a podcast, we weren't like, hey, man, we should talk about gardening. Yes. That'll get yeah. some listeners. No, everybody so else has their more thing. Why can I have mine? Now, wait, in the, in the defense, you know, there are people listen to What's the BUI thing? that I have to go, oh, shit, you know what? I actually learned something about gardening on a BUI. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of handy, really? actually. Here's, here's a little, here's a little tip. I'm not saying we have to go overboard with it. But. Here's a little tip for everyone. <laughs> All right. Yeah. For every two-week period that you plant grass seed before Memorial Weekend, the more of a chance it actually has to thrive. Because for every two-week period you plant it before Memorial Weekend, you will be mowing it after Labor Day Weekend, which is a tremendous sign in the germination of grass seed. I'm just wow. saying. See that? Are That's you guys still awake? Are you guys still awake? I just took a 15-second nap. Thanks. Yeah. Well, you well, guys because asked for you don't have a day. fucking yard, man. <laughs> I'm sorry that Tyson has a yard. Pre- I'm t- sorry that Tyson well, has put up a biweekly period. <laughs> when you see your buddies bring it over and you don't smoke it, you know. <laughs> no, well, I was in the Scooby Band. No, I just felt I felt I was pouting. All right, everybody else had their gig. Your hip hop, John's something. You know, I want. I'm not going to talk about hip hop. I'm awesome. If something prevalent no. comes up in hip hop, of course you are. Uh, I started to. I'll bring it up, like. You know, the thing about B.I.G., that his uh, case kind of got cracked open a little bit. I might bring up something like that, but I'm not going to sit here and chatter your guys' ear off about shit you don't care about. No kidding. <laughs> because there would be you guys. I would like, like, I would like right, to the yeah. Mr. Mick show. I would be outnumbered. I would like to know how they got German rounds only sold in Germany. Right. How the hell did that happen? What we're talking about is uh, B.I.G.'s, uh, you know, he died... Pretty much, uh, what about fifteen years ago? Yeah, when we were seniors in high school. I think it was uh, ninety. Yeah, ninety-seven. Um, and n- nobody Tupac. solved the case, but uh, some FBI documents that were opened due to the Freedom of Information Act revealed that he was killed with a German nine millimeter round that's not available in the United States. And uh, actually, back in uh, 97, they searched some, some bloods, the Pyru bloods out, out in L.A. They searched their premises and found some of the same rounds, but they didn't do anything with the case. You know, I've heard that they're actually the Shiite bloods. I was actually thinking if they're not sold in America, that's a hell of a shot from Germany. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You think it was a, a sniper from it was a real uh, gun from it was a, uh, Berlin? It was a special. It was a, it, was, a real it was a special fifty cal that shot nine millimeters. <laughs> okay, they heard the fifty cent song. I'm gonna get rich or die trying. <laughs> <laughs> and they thought they'd, they'd let him have that opportunity. But uh, that's my hip hop news for the day. So I, I won't bore you anymore with that. And this has been Hip Hop Minute with Mr. Mick. <laughs> the Hip Hop Minute, yeah. <laughs> There, there's a weekly segment started. You get one fucking minute to talk about your fucking rap, and Time's then it's over. over to Time's something over. else. You're still talking it. about it. You're still talking about it. Time's you over. You got your own shit. Talk about your own rap on your own goddamn show, motherfucker. This is where you close the mic and you go, This is Hip Hop Minute. Uh, oh, you got to do it wrong. You have to be like, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, this is Hip Hop Minute. Go, Mick. Take the mic away from your mouth, <laughs> asshole. You see how fucking big that wave file is? I had to do that. That's because it's an intro. It had to be louder. This isn't an intro. We're into the show. The Hip Hop Minute was. For Hip Hop Minute. Oh, okay. No, on a, on a oh. more serious note, though.